So, Shell, I recently saw the new Indiana Jones movie, and I'm not going to give you a movie review. It, it was a movie. And there was a scene. There's a fight on a train with a, a de-aged Harrison Ford, and there's a bad guy coming at him. He knows he's in a fight. It's not a huge space, but it's not a really small one either. Indiana Jones takes his hat off, puts it over the face of his opponent, blinding him, and then boom, pulls it off and punches him, okay? So this is an interesting move because it's very similar to some techniques you'll find in boxing. Uh, a friend of mine who was a Krav Maga instructor in the IDF did something very similar by covering up one eye with his left hand so you can't see the right hand coming, boom, to set up a punch with the right hand. In boxing, you'll do the same thing with the jab. You'll throw out the jab covering this eye and then throw out the, uh, the right hand. So my question is, how easy or hard is it to get the hat over the other guy's face? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna test this out. If I can get the hat over Xiao's face, I win. And then we're gonna switch it up. If Xiao can get the hat over my face, he wins. That's it. That's all I wanna know. Is this doable? If you know I've got one of these, maybe you don't know that's my intention, but you know we're fighting, how doable and feasible is it to get the hat over the other guy's face? In the movie, the fight takes place on a train, pretty narrow space, a little bit of space to move around, but not a lot. So we're going to simulate that with uh, a bathroom stall here in the park. So once again, I'm going to try to get this hat over Shao's face and see how that goes. Right, ready? <laughs> He's got the hat. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that backfired. It's because he knew it was coming, but yeah. My question is, if you're in a fight, you know objects such as fists are coming toward your face, so you're gonna protect your face. He's gonna have his guard up. Like if I know I'm in a fight, I'm not just gonna, not just going to stand there like, yeah, put something in my face. So apparently we made a fundamental mistake and uh, we were doing this drill in the women's restroom side of the park. So we've amended that. <laughs> and uh, okay, here we go. shao has got the hat this time. I know I'm in a fight. I've got my guard up. I see him jabbing at me with that hat, okay? Oh, that, that's so easy to grab away, man. I forgot about here, that try, part. Try again. Okay, okay. He got one in there. He got one in. It's, I'd say it's, it's doable. Apparently, Indiana Jones in the movie had practiced this before. I've never practiced it. Xiao had uh, some pretty good success kind of flicking it out, sort of like a jab, as opposed to just trying to grab the thing and hey, let me borrow that. Be like, here it comes. I'm going to stick it on your face. Oh, no, he's got it. Like, like I was doing like some kind of idiot, whereas uh, Xiao was just kind of like, flip, flip, flip. Oh, I got it. Right? So you got you to gotta flick it in there. So here, give, give that a try. So my hands are up here and you know, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll block the first one on the second one. And then, and then he's, he's mixing up his, his, his hands and his legs together. And then eventually you can sneak that onto the face. So that's, that's interesting. Pretty much the same body mechanics as landing the jab in the first place. So if you're, if you're good at landing a jab, good at setting that up and using your jab to set up the cross, then yeah, you'll be good at the hat trick or the eye pokes or whatever your martial art does. A lot of people are like, I would just poke him in the eye. And it's, it's a similar thing. If I'm just like, here comes my eye poke, which I was gonna block that instantly. However, if, if I'm a good boxer and I understand setups and so on, then yeah, I can absolutely land one of those. Whereas an untrained guy with simply the idea I'm gonna do that might not. Yeah, clearly Zhang Jones is the best at it. Why? Because he's practiced. Yeah, it's one of the best. Your opponent, Daniel Cormier, keeps saying that you're going to poke him in the eyes during the fight. Why does he keep saying that? So Daniel Cormier uh, is saying before the fight that I'll end up poking him in the eyes at some point. And the reason why he says that is because I do poke people in the eyes. And it's very illegal, uh, but I do it. It's working. And that, that's an interesting case. John Jones um, finger jabs and people boo him for that and so on. And I understand that. And I'm going to tell you something you might not like about the sport of mixed martial arts. And you might hate me for being the messenger here. 
there's the rules and then there's the rules. Think about this. If in the sport of wrestling, you know, like high school wrestling, if you could punch the other guy in the face and just get a verbal warning from the referee, just a verbal warning, that's it, not even a deduction of points. Do you know what would happen in high school wrestling? There would be a punch on each side of that match every single time, a strategically placed punch. Boom, oh, whoops, sorry, accident. That's a warning, don't let it happen again. It won't, sir. <laughs> it would change the sport. Why do I bring that up in the sport of MMA? What is the consequence of an eye poke? Warning. You get a verbal warning and the other guy gets a five minute break and guess what? You get a five minute break too. So let's say I'm kind of tired and I want to leg up on my competition and I'm drawing out some jabs and I accidentally boop, get my thumb in there. Whoops, sorry. That's a warning, don't do it again. It won't, yeah, no problem. Five minute break, sweet. That's called a professional foul. Depends on the fighter too. Mm -hmm. I feel like some fighters are genuinely apologetic after they land a groin strike or eye poke yeah. because they want to prove that they can win fair and square. Yeah. Yeah. Now, make no mistake, I'm, I'm not justifying bad behavior here. I'm just telling you what happens. I'm telling you how the sport works. And if you don't understand that, if you do not understand that, going into, say, a professional or an amateur MMA fight and it happens to you, don't say you weren't warned first. Yeah. So I don't know how uh, Indiana Jones hat trick turned into <laughs> eye pokes, but it did. Protect yourself at all times. Exactly. Protect yourself at all times. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.